and welcome back guys to some more Fallout 4. Today we're going back to, I think this is the start of the Far Harbour thing it is. Anyway, let's go and find out what we're looking for. We're just going to see Valentine. Fresh water! Come on people, I ain't standing here for my health. Anyway, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys later. I'm glad you're here. We got a new case while you and Nick were out. Ready to put on the detective hat? Tell me more. Our client is a fisherman who lives on the edge of the Commonwealth, Kenji Nakano. Nakano? Huh. That name takes me back. Hmm. My memory's a little fuzzy on the details, though. Maybe if you bothered writing things down, Nick. Can't do that. Wouldn't want to put you out of a job. Huh. I'll remember that the next time you need me to console a hysterical client. Mr. Nakano didn't leave many details. Said he'd go over everything when you meet him. But if you want my guess, missing person case. Guy had a worried look a mile long. I'll go check it out. Thanks, Ellie. The Nakano residence is up in the northeast, near the coast. A small fishing house. He said that he and his wife will be waiting for you. It's a long walk. That's how the hard cases always start. For this, I might need another robot companion because he's mostly meant for like proper combat. I think because it's far harbor, so it swamps. I think I might need to consult on Be a another certain somebody, another kind of robot. I'm going to head to Sanctuary. It's the closest one, I think. If I look at the map. Plus, look, it's all the way over here. I'm going to um, go to Central Hill for a second. 35 residents, oh, that's not bad. Wait, 35? Holy shit. I haven't got that many people to actually store there. And I need to send people to Vault 88 to investigate. Perhaps I need to send some Minutemen over there to investigate that place. But I'll go to the castle and find some people to investigate it. And be head to security. So we well, can take a real beating. Do one hand, I know we too much. I'm doing both laser. No, it's going to be round. Yeah, it's going to be laser ones. That's lightning. Yeah, yeah. One on the back. 
Okay. Can't remember. Totron, there was Sentry. Test hands. We're gonna have flying there. Actually, we'll have him there attack the left and see if we can dodge. Anyway, let's head to the place. We know where the place is because we've been to nearly every point of the map.
Damn it! Come in! I know you're listening on the other end. Where is she? Where is my daughter? Kenji, please. You've been at this for hours. What? Who are you? I'm sorry, but we don't have time for visitors or caravans or wherever you're from. I'm with Valentine's detective. Best friend. Thank God. You have to get working right away. So, what's the story with you and Nick? Ran with him on one of his cases a few years back, searching for some sort of lost heirloom. He needed a boat. Things didn't end. Nick's client double-crossed us once we had what he was looking for. I still have some lead lodged into my hip. But we got out. And now, my daughter's missing, and there's only one detective agency I know of in the Commonwealth. I'm here to help. Tell me what happened. It's all thanks to this damn radio. Our daughter Kasumi likes to fix things. The radio was her latest project. Until she made contact with some kidnapper who lured her away from us. Or maybe she left on her own. She's not a child anymore. Our daughter is 19. She knows how to survive and she's capable. I... think maybe she left because she wanted her own life. No. She would have told us where she was going. She would have said something. I know my daughter is in danger. I can feel it. Find her, please. I'll find her. Don't you worry. Thank you. Her room is upstairs, if that helps. And if you had any more questions about her, just ask. Mrs. Nakano. I suppose you have questions about my daughter. I'd like to know more about Kasumi. Might shine a light on where she's gone. My daughter is strong, focused, careful. That's how I know she's still alive. But why would she leave without telling us? Maybe we... No, never mind. I don't want to waste your time. Every detail is important, Mrs. Nakano. Don't hold back. It's just that we've been fighting a lot more. All of us. Ever since Kasumi's grandfather passed away, he was the only one that could really talk to her. Kenji and I don't understand machines, but those two could work together for hours. She started staying in her grandfather's boathouse late into the night. I thought she was just trying to cope with the loss, but... Now I wonder what she was up to. Nothing else right now.
Blake. I want you to listen to me as a brother here. This whole deal with Eddie is wicked shysty. I mean, what kind of business partner threatens to kill you if the deal doesn't go his way? We are in way over our heads, man. I can't see a way out of this. If you are hearing this, then whatever conflicts you and I have endured are over. I have no reason to believe that you'll honor the request I'm about to make. But I feel compelled to try anyway. This synth, this boy, he deserves more. He has been reprogrammed to believe. All right, Brain Box. Ivy wants me to find out what makes you... Project Log? Um, myself. I never really thought about who or what I am, but... God. Where do I start? The radio. I was right about the range. I managed to get a signal, a strong signal, from up north. There's a group of people up there. They say they're all synths. Synthetic people. Made by the Institute. They are trying to build a place for their kind. Where they can be themselves and be accepted for what they are alongside human beings. It sounds wonderful, but... Then they started asking about me and some questions came up. I don't have answers to. I'm, I'm always off. Like, I'm not really supposed to be here, but... Then there are things in my childhood I can't remember, and I've been having strange dreams. I... I'm... Oh, to meet these synths, I... I have to know the truth about myself. They've told me to sail up north to a town called Far Harbor. I can make my way to them from there. Have you finished your investigation? Did you find anything? I think I know where Kasumi went. A place called Far Harbor. She went that far up north? God, that explains why she took the boat. There's no time to waste. You have to go after her. Wait, did you find out why she left, Detective? Who she was speaking to? What does it matter? Because I know my daughter, and if she didn't tell us where she went, then she had a reason. Don't you want to know if she wants to be found? <sighs> You're right, Detective. Did you find any clue to why Kasumi left home? I need to ask you an important question. Are you sure your daughter is human? What kind of question is that? Why are you asking? Your daughter made contact with a group of synths. She thinks she's one of them. What? That's... that's crazy. She's not a synth. She's our daughter. We raised her. I... I gave birth to her. She's flesh and blood, not a synthetic. That's how synths work, Mrs. Nakano. They replace people. This could have happened recently. I know my own daughter. She's not a synth. This is what I was afraid of. Someone twisting my daughter's mind. You have to get to Far Harbor. Take my ship on the dock. It has a guidance system, a final gift from my father, and it's built for distance. I'll get to the bottom of this, Kenji. Thank you. I know you haven't asked for a payment, and we can't offer much. But here, please take it. I insist. For expenses, if nothing else. Thank you. 
Far Harbor. We, uh, we don't get many visitors around here. We don't need no freeloaders or more help, Mainlander. So you can get back in your boat and leave. Alan, this isn't your dock. It belongs to the... And that means you are welcome. Uh, sorry, you've caught us during a, a difficult time. Uh, but Alan's got a point. Not all visitors have good intentions. So, uh, what's your business here? A young woman from the Commonwealth named Kasumi may have passed through here. Her family hired me to find her. Some sort of detective, huh? Well, she came through here all right. Damn it. Mariners ain't coming. Something's coming through the fog! You, help us defend the town, and I'll answer any questions you have. Take a post at the top of the wall near the main gate. The hall never lets us down. Now follow me! Don't fall off. You do. might not be able to rescue you in time. Man the hall! Something's out there! Avery. And now you see what we're up against. The fog and the creatures it spits a whole island for my people. We needed it. You deserve this. If you managed to survive despite all that, you must be tough. <laughs> Ornery, more like. I just... I'm done cowering behind your damn hull, Avery. It's time you let me deal with the real problem. With the right people and my guns, I can end those children of Adam cultists for good. The fog's been here forever. The children didn't make it. Before the rat eaters came, the fog was under... They come, and it all goes wrong. It's time we do something. No need to burden a stranger with all this nonsense. Have the children made the fog worse? Absolutely not. There's not one bit of evidence. Geiger counters don't lie, Avery. Fog's gotten more lethal year over year. And now the fog's covering the whole island. But only after the children came. You know as well as I do, that's happened before. Sure, people have theories the children are involved, but no one, and I mean no one, proof. What's the deal with the children of Adam? They're religious folk. They worship the power of Adam. Which is uh, radiation, I guess. If you want details, you'd have to find and ask them. We used to have a peace with them until a certain hothead menace named Alan Lee... Now that's enough. That preacher came into the harbor saying that it was Adam's will that we lost our land. That it was Adam's goddamn will that we lost so many friends and family. And that the Adam would wipe this whole place clean of us. If it were up to me, you'd hang for what you did to that preacher, Alan. Can we get back to business? Sorry for all that. You're here for Kasumi, right? She headed inland to the Synth Refuge, Acadia. Getting there will be dangerous. You'll need a guide. Old Longfellow. No one knows the fog like him. But a uh, word of warning, he's a bit of an acquired taste. Thanks for the info. 
Best place to look for Longfellow's at the bar. The last plank. And, uh, please, lend a hand around town if you're able. Even if it's slapped away, people like the Mariner and Cassie and others need help. And let me say something you might not hear again. Thank you. The hull took a battery. To be sure. She wouldn't be standing at all if it weren't for you. They call me the Mariner. Shipwright. Handyman. And the only one keeping the harbor afloat. Well, beside Captain Avery. The town's lucky you're here. You blowing smoke up my sails. Huh. <laughs> There is... I don't suppose you'd be willing to lend a hand. In order to do proper repairs, I need tools. Specialized tools. And they won't be easy to come by. 450 caps if you can, though. Sign me up. I'll help. Eagle's Coke Tannery. Tools are certain to be there. Now get... My guns now. Mainlanders don't last long. You're that mainlander who just got here. Better watch yourself, because this island sees and hears everything you do. I should know. I watched the island tear down the greatest family that ever set foot in Far Harbor. It's a tale of greed, blinds, and vengeance. Sounds interesting. I'd like to hear it. I thought you might say that. My family, the Daltons, was the pride of Far Harbor for generations. Even back before the war. It was lumber and fishing that made the Daltons rich. But they got greedy, took too much from the island. The island's been getting revenge ever since, killing us off one by one. I'm the last Dalton still standing. Ah, but now our story takes an unexpected turn. A mysterious stranger comes to Far Harbor. Someone strong, someone capable. With the stranger's help, the last living Dalton finally has a chance to avenge her bloodline once and for all. Let me guess. I'm the mysterious stranger who's gonna help you avenge your family. Ah, you're a quick one. Good. You'll need your wits about you, because your part in the story is filled with danger. Now, on to the first chapter in our tale of vengeance. That would be the sad story of freckle-faced Petey. Petey was my cousin. He was a good lad, never caused trouble. He thought all those freckles brought him luck, but, <laughs> well, not so much. He was out foraging at the National Park campground when the island sick some feral ghouls on him. Island's a sneaky bastard when it wants to be. Anyway, he made it back to town, but died from his injuries that night. Of course, those ferals are still out there, waiting to kill the next poor fool who comes along. Damn shame. Those ghouls are as good as dead. Good, good. It's long past time those shamblers paid for what they did to Pete. your loved ones with my fine hands. Welcome to the bait shop. If you need any odds and ends, I'm your man. Let's trade. Here's what I got.
other vultures circling over Andre's body, he ain't dead. Okay guys, I'm going to end it here. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later.